This week's safety toolbox talk is on all the processes that Berglund has put together, safety processes throughout the years to make Berglund the safest construction company we feasibly can for the company's best interests and for you as tradesmen, project managers on all of our behalfs. Let me cheat a little bit and read off a multitude of processes that we have in place that we're all performing and that we all take ownership in. First of all, when Berglund considers a new hire, that new hire goes through a background uh, check and he goes through a pre-hire drug screen. On the tradesman side of that, the tradesman also goes through what we call a work steps agility process, a stretch and flex, observations of range of motion, typically takes maybe a little bit more than an hour. It's done by a third party and that individual is given the go ahead to be hired by Berglund because he's, he's in good enough conditions that he can perform his job description. And then again, he also does a pre-hire drug screen. Once all of that is done, all these checks and balances, he comes in here with our labor relations representative and does a new hire orientation of text, policies, safety manuals, talks a little bit about OSHA and his training, preferably a 30 hour. And then it also involves a video I put together that talks about Berglund and what we do and how we do it in a safe manner. Additional to that, Berglund has trained about 225 people in the past eight years here in house in the OSHA 30 hour to recognize hazards out there and to remediate those hazards before they cause any type of significant injury and or maybe even a general liability claim. We third house out a lot of uh, trainings, lull training, boom and scissors lift training, City of Chicago scaffold training for suspended and supported scaffolds. Berglund is pumping out policies. We're rewriting policies. We're trying to train a lot of awareness things out here that we should comprehend and implement on our projects. We provide personal protective equipment for every tradesman on every scope that we perform, whether he needs a respirator or a face shield or rubber boots, gloves working with maybe a product that could be corrosive according to the hazard communication standard. We also have implemented a very thorough ethics policy with a hotline number for anyone to call if by chance they're being harassed on the job site or they see something out of the ordinary. We perform safety audits, daily huddles, checklists for many, many of our scopes of work safety checklists. We also do two semi-annual safety meetings a year attended by all management and all superintendents and foremen in the field. We communicate where we're at, where we're going, what's hot out there, what's occurred, and our lessons learned. It's, it's outstanding that we do these corporate safety meetings. And then we brought our insurance company in 2018 to talk to 200 tradesmen and management in this company and talk to them about how does Berglund walk the walk. With all the implementations that we've just talked about, how do we walk that walk? Are we really doing safety to the best of our ability? And if not, where do we need to improve? So my topic this week's a little off the wall, maybe processes in place, but we have so many good things in place. And in turn, that has created a safety culture here at Berglund that's second to none. So this week, let's talk about processes in place on your jobs, what's working, what you might need to improve on, and most of all, let's have a safe week. Thank you.